Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today I've got another e-bike review for you. This one is from Engui. This is actually the second e-bike that I've made a review of from Engui. And I'm not quite sure if that's how it's pronounced, but that's uh, what we're going to go with. Now I am not a specialist when it comes to e-bikes, so this is going to be more of a user experience review. I have ridden several e-bikes over the past couple years, so I have a lot of experience with them. And I'm just going to kind of let you know what I think about this one. Now this one could be particularly of interest to some people just due to the price. Right now this is currently $799 on their website. This is called the L20 2.0, it's their new generation. This is a 750 watt e-bike and it can peak all the way up to 1125 watts. As you can see this is a step through bike so it's easy to get on and off of and that can be super important to some people especially if you have mobility issues, joint issues. This thing is easily mounted and dismounted and uh, it's also a folding bike. Again that can be very important to some people. There's lots of different styles of e-bikes but I really like the folding ones because when I'm out camping or if I want to go check out some trails in a different city, this thing folds up fairly compact and you can put it in the back of your car, in a trunk. But not only that, if you're a person who lives in a small apartment, this thing folds up pretty small and it can easily be stored in a closet. Not everybody has a garage that they can store a big mountain bike in. So a folding e-bike like this can be very important to some types of users. Now this e-bike can achieve up to 80 miles of range. Now that is going to depend on the amount of pedal assist you're using. Of course, if you're using full throttle with zero pedal assist, that's going to be greatly shortened. There are five levels of pedal assist, so it depends whether you want a good workout or you want lots of help going up hills and different things, you can set it accordingly. Down here in the back, it is equipped with a 52 volt, 13 milliamp hour battery. So you got lots of power there, but it's still fairly light and manageable. It is removable, so you can take it in and store it if you need to. And for myself, when I'm gonna be loading this in the back of my car, depending on how my back is feeling, quite often I'll take the battery out before I fold it up and load it up. That takes quite a bit of weight out of the bike and it makes it a little bit easier to manage. It's a seven speed bike equipped with Shimano shifters. So a nice quality shifter, that's pretty standard across most e-bikes. It has mechanical disc brakes and it has an extremely bright, colorful LCD screen. Makes it very easy to see even on bright days. Gives you all the information you need about your battery, your speed, the power consumption, and the pedal assist level. Over here on the left handlebar, we have a nice big switch for adjusting your pedal assist level. That's also your power button and how you change settings and turn on the front light. Of course, it's equipped with a bell, which is very important for safety when you're riding on trails. And it comes with a three amp charger. With the three amp charger, you can have this thing recharged from empty in about six and a half hours. Now for the price, $799, there's a lot of features that you just don't see on bikes of this category. First of all, if we take a look at the seat post here, there's actually a shock built into the seat post. Usually that's an upgrade you have to purchase separately, but this comes standard with it. So that's a really, really nice feature. And I would have to say out of all the e-bikes of this style, this is probably the best seat that I've ever received on one. It's a nice wide seat and it's very cushiony. I'm actually quite pleased with this seat. I've mentioned that in some of the other uh, e-bike video reviews that I've done that the seat's usually the first thing that I upgrade. Uh, but actually with this one, I don't think I'm going to. It's actually quite nice. Of course, we also have shocks on the front there to help absorb the impact if you're riding on a trail system and you can adjust them they are adjustable there on the front forks now this is considered also a utility bike because we have a back rack and we also have a front rack now when you get the bike this isn't installed so you don't have to have it on there if you don't want but for people who are going to be using their bike to go get groceries perhaps you're taking it to a park to have a picnic uh, myself I'm always out filming with my drones so I'm always loading up gear on my e-bikes uh, this front rack is actually quite nice if you have a large backpack and you don't feel like wearing it, you can strap it down there and that way you can have a more comfortable ride. And again, you can get uh, one of those bags for the back, load it full of groceries or equipment. And uh, yeah, so nice for storage if you've got to be carrying a lot of cargo. Now this comes standard with folding pedals, which again makes it a little bit easier when loading into a car or storing, say, for the winter. It takes up less space. The battery is also lockable. And not only is it lockable, it actually has ignition. Now, this is the first e-bike that I've had that actually you have to turn the key on in order to use it. That's a nice safety feature that will definitely help prevent theft. And just having the battery locked in there also helps prevent your battery from being stolen as well. These are 20 inch by three inch tires. They're all terrain tires, so they're good for a wide variety of trains, 
such as city streets. They got some nice tread on them so you can do some off-roading, city trails, different things like that. So a nice variety of surfaces you can ride this bike on. This bike can handle riders up to 264 pounds, so it is capable of all different shapes and sizes of people. And it comes in at a weight of 68.3 pounds. So again, it is very manageable if you have to maneuver it. And as mentioned, you can always remove the battery if you find it's still a little too heavy to lift up into a vehicle. Now, just for some of the standard equipment that most e-bikes have, we have a front fender and a rear fender, which is very important, especially if you're gonna be riding in wet conditions. And we have a rear tail light for safety. And of course, we have a front headlight here. Now, if you are in the market for an e-bike, I know some people are a little concerned that they're gonna get an e-bike and they're not gonna get any exercise. They're gonna be defeating the purpose of buying a bike. But I disagree with that statement, and I've mentioned this in many of my past videos. If you are a regular to my channel, you know a year and a half ago, two years ago, I weighed 420 pounds. Now I'm floating around 180 pounds. Now that change is from many different things, a whole lifestyle change, my diet, but I also started getting a lot of exercise. I started riding my e-bike almost every day, and you can get a really good workout on them. As mentioned, we have pedal assist, so if you just want a little bit of help, you can leave it on pedal assist one, and you're still gonna get a good workout, a good cardio workout, you're gonna work your muscles. And e-bikes are just fun, so you just wanna get out all the time and ride them. Especially if you're a person who has joint issues, joint pain, knee pain, back pain. Having an e-bike can help alleviate some of that because you're not putting so much stress on the joints. And you're still gonna get out, get some fresh air, get moving. So I'm a big believer that e-bikes are just as beneficial as a regular pedal bike. Not everybody will agree with that statement, but from my own experience, I believe that 100%. Now, one nice feature that isn't quite common on a lot of bikes is that this actually has adjustable handlebars. You can see we have a clamp there that I can undo, and we can raise it up and down. So if you're a taller person, you can easily adjust the seat and the handlebars to fit your body shape. That's a feature you just don't see a lot on these entry-level e-bikes. It does come in three different colors. This here is the black version. They have a pink version, and they also have a nice green version as well. Folding this bike up is super easy. We have a latch here with a safety on it. Let's pull that down. We fold the handlebars in. I like to lower the seat all the way down. On this side here, we have another latch. We open that up and it's just a matter of bringing the front over just like that. You can fold up the pedals and then just go and lift it up into your vehicle. So yeah, folks, that is the Engui L20 2.0 folding e-bike. It's a pretty impressive bike for $799. Nice and portable, lightweight. I think for a lot of people who are looking for an entry level e-bike, this could be the perfect choice. Well, folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.